Hi, I'm Dr. Stan Kucher, teenmentalhealth.org at Dalhousie University and the IWK Health Center in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. On this World's Mental Health Day, it's really important that we understand how essential it is to enhance the mental health literacy capacity in our countries and globally. Mental health literacy is the foundation for everything that we can do effectively and positively in mental health promotion, prevention, treatment, and ongoing care. Without it, we often don't know what we're talking about. And without it, we can't effectively improve mental health outcomes, period. We have been working assiduously in Canada and around the world, high-income countries, middle-income countries, and low-income countries, to enhance mental health literacy for teachers and for students. We can do this concurrently because the school is the workplace for teachers, but it also is the workplace for students. And we know that by bringing together two very important and effective innovations, that is the Mental Health Literacy Guide, a curriculum resource to be used in classrooms for students ages 12 to 15, and the Go to Educator Training, which helps teachers in schools identify, support, triage, and refer young people who may have mental disorders Putting these two innovative programs together enhances mental health knowledge, decreases stigma, and increases help-seeking efficacy over time for both teachers and for students. This is not a program parachuted into a school setting. On the contrary, it utilizes existing pedagogical approaches which are applied in schools across the globe. Teachers learn how to teach a curriculum resource. By so doing, they become competent and able to do so. They acquire the knowledge, their stigma decreases, and their own mental health, self-care, and that of their families improves. When they apply the resource in their own classrooms, students show the same outcomes as the teachers do, and these outcomes are maintained over time. And because this is built on existing school ecologies, it doesn't matter where we apply this approach, whether we do it in Canada or the United States, two high-income countries, the results are the same across locations where this approach is implemented. And if we applied in Nicaragua or in Malawi or Tanzania, examples of low-income countries, we get similar results regardless of where the innovation is implemented. A number of countries are just starting to evaluate and apply this resource and this program in, in very different ways. Finland, Romania, Portugal, Bangladesh. And so we're confident that given the solid scientific evidence behind this innovation and the fact that this approach can be frugally and sustainably applied in existing education frameworks, that you may also find it useful in your setting. Thank you for listening. It's together that we can work to improve the lives of people across the world, not just today, but every day in the future. I'm Stan Kucher.